Hello, how are you guys doing today? I miss you so much today. You guys, look how I did my makeup. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? This makeup, rainbow, you guys requested a rainbow makeup. So here you guys go. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to give you guys a story time of what it was like having a transgender aunt growing up. I grew up with a transgender aunt, you guys, in the 90s. I'm going to talk about how uh, her struggles were back in those times. So thank you guys so much for inspiring this video. I think it came out really pretty. I really, really love it. I did my lips. Mwah. <laughs> I did my my lips in rainbow. Um, I did a couple of streaks of my hair. It was, you know, the best that I could do. And my eyes, you guys, my eyes are rainbow and I have glitter, rainbow glitter at the bottom over here. So I think it came out really nice, you guys. It really, as I was doing the makeup, it really brightened my day because today is actually a really gloomy day. Today is such a gloomy day, so just to have this makeup be able to brighten my day, it really helped. And I hope it brightens you guys' day too. I hope you guys enjoy today's story time to drink. I'm having a Corona. I've been really into Coronas, you guys. I don't know what has gotten into me. But we have king crab, shrimp, lemon, and we have some eggs back here that you can't see. I'm going to eat a little bit and then I'm going to get into the story time and um yeah so this is dedicated to this video is dedicated to anybody that's a part of the lgbt community men and women that are transgender um transgender men and women hold a very special place in my heart because like i said i grew up with a transgender aunt she um did her transition in the 90s um and it wasn't easy can you imagine like if you're transgender now just imagine what it was like in the 80s and the 90s. Like, it was not easy, and especially it was not easy for her. So, um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to tell you guys her name, what she was like, blah, blah, blah. But first, I'm going to get the first bite of this. I'm going to season this down here. Mmm. This is seasoning, you guys. Seasoning has some sugar in it too. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You guys, I couldn't cry. It's so fresh. And it's so good. Mm. Oh, you guys, I love my makeup. <laughs> I love my makeup. It didn't take me long to do it at all. It never really takes me long to do my makeup. Mmm. Take one more bite. And my mom came over yesterday and I was telling her that I was going to do this story. She was like, that is good because this is my aunt on my dad's side. Her name was Janae. She passed away. Um, from AIDS in 1999 I cared for her I was pretty much with her during her last days okay so this was and she passed away in 1999 her name was Janae she changed her name to Janae she lived her life as a woman now back in the 90s you guys it was 
I don't know if she was on the medication or not. Um, the hormone medication. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know if she didn't have the money for it. Or I don't know what the situation was back then. Or how you could get it. Because I do know that there were people who were able to get the medication. I don't know if it was expensive. I don't know you guys. But I'm not sure if she was on the medication or not. But she had two kids. My cousins, Tiffany and Courtney. And a boy and girl. She was a great mother. They called her mom. She was a full-time mom. She had custody of her children. She was such a great mom. And she was such a great person. I asked my mom when she was here. Does she remember her? And she said yes. Um... Mm. I think about her often. It's kind of hard to, to like forget about her because like my personality and like who I am. The extravagant, the colorful hair, the makeup, all of that comes from my dad's side of the family. The singing and the arts and stuff like that. I mean, I get it on both sides. But just like, you know, the dramatics of just my personality and who I am. It comes from, definitely comes from my dad's side of the family. Because that's how she was. When I was a little girl, she always made sure my hair was done. Always made sure, and even her daughter, always made sure her daughter's hair was done. Always made sure that we went out the house looking good, no bonnets, you know, looking decent. Um, taking care of ourselves. Now, I knew that, you know, she was transgender. I knew. I don't remember her during her transition. I think I was too young. But as far as I can remember, I remember her being, living her life as a woman. Um... I remember she had a boyfriend... I remember, <laughs> I, re I, I spent a lot of time over her house. So like, I remember like she used to stuff her bras with socks and she would talk to me. She was very honest. She told the truth about who she was and she lived her life, you know, the way she wanted to live it. She didn't care what anybody thought about her. And I really respect somebody who can live their truth live who they are you know they don't care what anybody thinks they don't care what anybody says they're going to live their life for them she said she was born like that oh look at this big piece you guys mm. um you know, she said she was born like that, and that's that's who she was. And she was honest with every person that she met, which I respect that as well. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. That lemon makes it taste so good. <coughs> mm. Mm. She was brave. <clears throat> brave. She walked out of her house with her head held high. She did not care what anybody thought she didn't care what anybody said i remember we would go to stores and people would stare and she didn't care she didn't care
No, she did not care at all. And her birthday is coming up soon. So this is perfect timing. But she died at 30 years old, you guys. I really, really miss her. Whenever I feel like I'm weak, whenever I feel like I can't go forward in life or I'm going through something very hard, I think about her because she lived her life and she didn't care what anybody thought. Like, I mean, I know that you guys feel like Um, the community has progressed so much over the years and I am just so happy that you guys are able to live your life, be free. I'm so happy that the LGBT community can just be free and live their life and be who they want to be and be happy. I wish she was alive to, to see how far things have come. You know, to even be on the medication, to be to have the privilege of having the medication and living her life and being even happier than what she already was. Um, but I'm sure she would be, if she was still here, I'm sure she's happy. She would be happy that things have progressed and moved forward in, a, in an amazing way. I'm sorry, you guys, this seasoning is in here. The season is stuck here at the bottom. Let me take it out. Um, but yeah, I'm sure she would be very happy. Mm. With the way things have progressed. I wish she was alive to be able to see it. I really do. Always made sure my hair was done. Always made sure everything was on point. She had the prettiest hair. She did her hair. She always looked nice. Always. Um. <laughs> I have a funny story. I think I was probably about six six years old and she was like you want to get your nails done i was like yeah sure i mean i'm six and she took me and got my nails done and i got a full acrylic set you guys at six years old and i had i'll never forget i had french tip with mickey mouse airbrush they were so so cute you guys i loved my nails honey i came home to my mom, because this was like in the summertime, I came home to my mom, and my mom was like, who did your nails? Who got your nails done? And I said, Angela got my nails done for me. My mom was so upset, because she felt like it was too grown, I was too young to have my nails done. Which, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was, but it was so cute, I loved it. But, you know, even though my mom was upset, that is a memory, and I was telling my mom this yesterday. That is... That is a beautiful memory that I will never forget. My first time ever getting my nails done. My first time ever getting my nails done. I was six years old. And my aunt, Janae, took me to get my nails done. That is, that's, that's going to live with me forever. Um, my love for Cher came from my aunt, Janae. Aunt Janae loved Cher. She would play Cher throughout the house. Do you believe love after love? <laughs> I love Cher. She always played good music. She was so bomb. Like her personality was so bomb. She would cook. She loved her house to be clean. Like she was just like a dope aunt. Like she was just like your favorite aunt, you know? Um, and her kids had a really hard time when she passed away because like I said, she took care of them. They were her, um, they called her mom. They, she, she, they lived with her full time. She was just such a beautiful person and um, you know, we found out that she was HIV. She, I, I think 
she had it she knew she had it for a really long time hiv and she didn't tell anybody if i if i remember correctly she didn't tell anybody that she had it so by the time like we all found out or i found out it was actual full-blown aids and i remember her dying i was with her during her time of dying it was I didn't know. I was too young to really know the severity of what was happening. But I just remember her being home dying. She had lost so much weight. She was really, really thin. Her skin was turning really, really dark. She would cough. Like when she coughed, it would be like a hard, 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 hard cough. And I just remember like being there for her being by her side like i was by her side i was there every day you know because i was with my favorite cousins anyway but i was with her every single day i remember a memory where she sat her kids down and she was telling them well you guys you know i'm not going to be here very long she was always honest she was always honest she sat her kids down i was there she sat us all down and she opened up the book and basically told them you know i'm not going to be here much longer i don't know when my time is going to be up it just it was a heaviness in her home and you know i'm just happy that i was able to be there for her during her last days i would wipe her mouth if she needed anything she was getting weaker and weaker every day seemed like she was getting weaker and weaker every day but she always kept herself in good spirits she was always in good spirits she was always positive and um oh man you guys i'm getting a little emotional yeah she she had a hard time her skin got really dark she was just trying to push through, you know, just really, really trying to push through. And, um, she made it fun, though. Anytime that she had a little bit of strength, she would make it fun. We would do things. Um, but then she passed away in November of 1999 at the age of 30, you guys. Can you imagine? That is very, very young. Um, 30 years old. She would have been 52. Her birth, she would have been, her birth is coming up real soon. She would have been 52 real soon. And she was just such a beautiful person. I would never forget her. I would never forget her memory. I would never, I would never forget what she did for my confidence. How she made me feel as a little girl. And just allowing me to feel like I can be whatever I want to be. I can go wherever I want to go. I can do whatever I want to do. It doesn't matter. You know, and the strength that she had and i want anybody if you are you know feeling like you are transgender or if you feel like you're going through things because of your sexuality or whatever the case there are people who have come before you who have you can stand on these people's backs you can stand on these people's backs who's come who have come before you you know and you know they took it they took it for you they took the humiliation. They took all of that for you so that you can be able to live your truth, live your life. And now, like, you're in a place right now in this, in this time. Where you can actually do that. I admire her strength. I admire her courage. I will never forget her. I was so young. I was so young. But I still cherish those memories of her. Who she was in my life. And I think that's why I have such a love for like drag queens. <laughs> I love, honey, I love drag queens. Love drag queens. I just want you guys to be happy with who you are. I don't believe God makes mistakes on anybody. And God certainly didn't make any mistakes on you. You know. 
live your life be happy um don't worry about what nobody said She used to say they want to talk about you whether you're doing good, they want to talk about you whether you're doing bad. You might as well live your life, you might as well be happy. Mm. And I asked my mom what she remembered about her. And my mom was just like, she was just fun. She liked to have a good time. She was just a fun person. I really, really wish she was still alive. She would be so happy. She would be so happy to see where things have progressed. To finally actually get the medication. I don't know, I would have to ask my grandmother. Did she get the, did she get the, was she on the medication? I don't think she was. I'm not sure. She was the youngest of six girls. And honey, she was a she was a diva of all divas. I had really good childhood memories from her. And at such a young age, I was taught to respect everybody and love everybody for who they are. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. Everybody's not the same. <clears throat> Everybody doesn't have the same upbringing as you. Everybody's different. And that's what makes us beautiful. We're all different. And like, like I said, her kids had a really, really hard time with her, her, her death. They rebelled. They went down like a dark path, both of them. I mean, because they were all she had. She was all they had. They had each other, you know. The best mom. Oh, guys, this lemon juice is so good. Mmm. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys were inspired to live your truth. To know that you can do, you can be anything that you want to be. You are perfect just the way you are. Absolutely perfect just the way you are. And if somebody can live their truth in the late 80s, in the night, early 90s, and then pass away in 99. <sighs> pass away in 99, living their truth. Why can't you? Why can't you? You absolutely can. Thank you guys so much for inspiring this video. I really love, love, love this makeup, this look that we did today. Very, very, very pretty. It came out amazing. You guys can wear this look for pride. Um, you can wear it whenever you want to wear it. <laughs> wear it whenever you want to wear it, like me.
if you like the makeup if you like the story give this video a big thumbs up and yeah you guys just remember to live your life be happy you only get one life live your life and be happy and be who you are unapologetically they're going to talk about you whether you're doing good they're going to talk about you whether you're doing bad and I am happy that I was able to have somebody in my family like that. And there was people in the family who didn't respect her, who didn't respect her as, you know, being called a woman. There were, I remember a couple of situations where somebody in the family was like, I'm not calling you that or, you know, your name is, is what you were born as or whatever. And, you know, and the rest of the family gave her the respect that she deserved. And... She didn't let anything bother her. She didn't let anything penetrate her heart. And I want you guys to live in your truth and live and, and know who you are and be happy with who you are. Whatever that may be. Okay, you guys. And yeah, just, just to let y'all know there's nothing new under the sun, honey. There is nothing new under the sun. <laughs> but I wish she was alive. I really do. I wish she was alive to see how far things have come. But I'm sure she'd be happy either way. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah. Oh. I was going to do rainbow food, you guys. But I was not about to stain these teeth, honey. I was not about to stain these pearly whites. I was like, this is messy. It was staying in my fingers. I was like, I can't imagine what that's going to do to my teeth. So, you know, that's why we didn't do the rainbow king crab leg and everything else. But I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time.